welcome to beautiful Italy. I tell you what, today is the day. We're going to see Leo, we're going to see Billy. We're on our way to the amazing Toy Simi show in Rome. Let's hit it! <laughs> So, Joe, back in the van and on the way to Orte. Yes, indeedy, Mr. Matthew. We're back on the road to Orte to go and see Leo. Now, I'm pushing on this morning. I want to get there quick because the earlier we get there, the better chance we've got of actually going to see Leo's underground lair. Now, bear in mind that Leo's packed a lot of this stuff, hasn't he? He's going to be taking that to the show with him because he's got an immense looking table. I can tell you already, it's going to be amazing. But What's going to be in that other room? Do you remember that other room, Matt? Well, no, I don't because I wasn't allowed to go in and film. But I remember seeing you go in and come out with your eyes like massive saucers. So. Yeah, so that's where I want to go. I want to get in there because that's the stuff awaiting preparation. And with a bit of wriggling and shoveling and whatever, we can get a price out of Leo on something that I can take home and do the necessary preparation. Cut out the middleman, let's get some stuff bought this morning. Strike while the iron's lukewarm, as it were. Let's go. Yeah, so while we play a montage, we're going to have to put this ticket in the toll booth and get on the road. We are here. Hello, sir. Hey. Hello. How you doing, brother? You go away, Joe. I already bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? I heard that hanging in there. A little tired. Well, you've traveled further than us, so we can't say anything. I see you fixed the lights. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Please. Come oh, okay. I'm coming in. I'm, I'm going to have a look. It looks somehow bigger. <laughs> it looks bigger. <laughs> looks bigger, maybe. Oh, my life. a lot of mess. I've missed these banana boxes, Joe. Yeah, I know. Look at this. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Oh, Matt, looks behind you. Look what's behind you. Oh, well, these are the things that Matt. Ha! <laughs> Magnesteed. We're on Emperor. There we go. Can we just stop the camera while I just film a bag up with all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. He already knows everything about the warehouse. Yeah. Can, uh, and where the, where where the body's more. buried, uh, Billy? <laughs> but back there, you know. <laughs> I know, back there. Have you been back there much, Billy? I, I felt deceived by your video of this place <laughs> prior. It does. It was so when, much when, bigger. I know it is, yeah. The video, I was like, oh my god. Because you didn't see that, because that was all covered off. They got it all nice. And that's the bit where there's some good stuff in there. I mean, like, look, this is the first. Mighty Max bags. That's just great. I mean, that's. There's toys inside, too. Oh, my life. Now, Billy's here, so all the good stuff's going to be gone. There's not, there's too much stuff. He won't have covered everything. I mean, Billy's good, but he's not that good. I mean, like, he won't have covered everything. And also, we've got different markets, haven't we? Are you insulting me? Yes, yes very much so. <laughs> oh, it's just stuff everywhere. Oh my goodness me! Got to look down there. Right at the end. Oh! If you start the van. Honestly, I don't know. The, the, the box to turn here. Is that the castle? How oh, is Cast I need to go around here though. So Castello? What does Castello mean? I've got hair. It's a rather murky view, but that I like fighting fury straight big this big gym. There's all sorts in here. This is cool man. Even the shape of this cabinet is amazing. Like some sort of weird that's that's an awesome. I'm just, I'm not very good at this. It's, there's so much stuff, there's so much to take in. There's so many places I want to get to and, and go to. And, and I mean, this is, this is what we're not meant to And we don't have much time either. No, oh, these are the, that's the car from the Extreme Ghost Wars of Life. It's not amazing, but not often you see three of them in one place. Uh, there's a few more back there. There's a few more over there. There's more than three. There's toys everywhere. Oh, I 
think it's just boxes. But there's old shipping, oh, there's old toy shipping boxes back there and displays. It's such a big space. That's what you don't realise. You, you sort of remember it differently. And I don't remember it being this big. And this was pretty much inaccessible last time. I mean, this big gym, Conan. All the Conan horses here. It's just so cool. Oh, look at the monster in Pocket Mountain. I don't want to knock this off. Oh, let's go past here. Oh, cool. Monster in Pocket Mountains, four of them. There's four of them sat there. It's just brilliant. Oh. Just a Star Max bomber sat there. And this is the stuff that's not ready yet. That's a flipping hive. There's a hive. And this. And somehow I can see more. Well, you know why? They put lights on this time. <laughs> Paid the bill. Man. An intense, it's an assault on the senses is what it is. It's an intense feeling of nostalgia and pure joy. This has got to be the best, bar none, toy warehouse in the world. Oh, oh my goodness, really? Yeah, I bought a couple of Halloween costumes from last night. That's just like, you gotta be kidding me. That's nice. It's an artwork, it's beautiful, isn't it? Our time is running short here because Leo has got to get ready for the show. But there is something I want to show you, something very special indeed, that to be fair, Billy found for me earlier on and it looks amazing. Come on. This is awesome. Matt, you wait till you see this. Bit of toy history. Look at that. Original G.I. Joe stand. This is super cool. And at 250 euros, this is going in the van. Uh, what I'm finding is my ambition overreaches my skill level on all things. I think I can put this to the side. Let's go that way. It's packed. It's got Billy's stuff in it. It's got our stuff in it. We're ready to go and have an amazing show at Toy Simi. Even Leo's packed. Again, quick, run away. <laughs> this is a mega, this is so cool. How's your drive? It was a drive. <laughs> I've been gently persuaded to go and have a look around and uh, see what I can buy before the show, before we even start setting up. So that's what we're going to do. The problem with going around with Leo is that he picks items that I want. From now Billy's here, Leo's here, we're all looking at the same sort of stuff, so it's... I keep saying, well, Billy, how much is that, Leo? How much is that, Leo? He goes very quiet, and he goes, how much is that? And then, like me. Ciao. Hello, E.G. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you for having us here. Thanks. 50 euros. Unused contents. Underrated show. Yes, very much so. Well, I've never seen the show, but you know, very underrated toy line. I imagine what this is like when it's going to be full. I mean, we're here now before it opens, like, you know, and we're going to see so many toys. This weekend is going to be mega. Hello. What's up there? It's a Radine. He's the most common of the Shogun Warriors, really, that we see in the big ones. But it's still, and it's funny because he sounds like a northerner. Hello, it's Radine. Um, but I'm going to ask about that. Leonardo, yeah. is the Radine likely to be very expensive? I don't know, do you ask a price? No, no, yeah. Look, when you start riding... 350. 350? Yeah. Stick Not perfect. Not perfect? No. Okay. Okay, we'll pass later. Yeah. Come on. We'll come okay. back later, see you later. We'll find some Shogun Warriors this weekend. 
I've got a space in my shop that's ideal for them. So I want to find some box Shogun Warriors. The more the better. And then you've got Lassoud there. Now these Atlantic figures, I like these a lot. This is something I try and pick up when I can. I don't know enough about them. This is kind of one of the things, if you don't see them, you've got to try and buy them. So that's one of these. I'm going to try and get this. I can, if I can get a little bundle of stuff going, it's kind of table where I am going to get a bundle of stuff going, I can tell. Then we'll be, uh, we'll be made up. We'll get some good deals going here. That's happening. Look at that. That's brilliant. Space Visitor, 25 euros. That's amazing. That's happening. Do you know where we saw that? Jonathan. Two complete sets of the Filmation Ghostbusters. That amazing space, whatever it is. And then these Atlantic figures, which I always lust after whenever I see them and I never manage to get them. So today's the day they're coming home with me. Sky Girls, I think Sky Girls are quite tough as well. I don't see it very often. Thank you very much, thank you. Alright, let's not get ran over. <laughs> It is Italy after all, and we are in constant peril of being hit by a vehicle. Keep it inside. Yeah, even inside. Do you see the jig in the... Bravi, bravi. Grazie, grazie mille. That's a repro. Yeah, but that's what they're saying. The repros are going for the same money on eBay. Yeah, I've never seen one in an Italian box. I only see them in Japanese boxes. I was confused there for a minute. Big Jim's another one that is much more popular in Italy than it is in its native country of the United States. Uh, and they continued the line for several more years here, making some really interesting, more kind of sci-fi and other kind of wild characters for the line. My Little Ponies, there's some Italian exclusive My Little Ponies, and there's Italian versions of ones from other countries. And, and because of the way things were sold here originally, there is so much dead stock coming out of these little snack shops and stuff where this stuff was sold in the 70s and 80s. And as you know, you can see walking around, a lot of dealers have the same stuff because it's all just out there for the taking. Well, I think I've packed up. Um, what I'd really like to do now is go and look around and see what toys I can find. The light's going a bit here, it's quite dark. But you know, toy fair at night, let's do it. I love this, this whole lighting thing, it just gives off this exciting nighttime vibe, it's brilliant. Here he is called Captain Harlock, and Francie's called Albator. In most places, he's called Harlock. He's a, he's a fancy fella, he's a badass space pirate. Little known fact. I have matching tattoos of these on my body. What's his name? You know, if I remembered it now, it'd be really good. But it's well, not happening. What's his name? Oh, he's like Ding Dong or something like that. That is, that is close. That is Doraemon. He is a cat-like robot from the 21st century. Well, he knows, you see. Or 24th century, I don't know, some kind of century. Jonathan like knew, and he told me so many times the name of it, and I what forgot is, every time. What is this? Is this like a... It's probably like a Les Paul. It's like a Les Paul Telecaster. Yeah, that's like weird. We should start a band with that dude. Yeah, we should. Two basses and one guitarist with a weird crossover guitar. And a ukulele player. And a ukulele player. <laughs> it's weird, though, this banana box thing, Billy, because... Everywhere you go in Italy, anybody that carries toys exists primarily through the banana box. So if you're a fruit avoider like me, I may ask you to search your heart and think of the toy dealers in Italy that without you eating bananas would no longer have anything to carry their toys in. It's a nice concept though, a little dolly for your pocket. For your pocket, yeah, it's great. Ooh, that's, that's pretty. So, Harbert, 12 back Jawa. So in 
the UK. It would have been on a Palitoy card. You often find them on Meccano cards, but like the bane of the life for a while. I couldn't sell them for love and the money. But on a Harbour card, that's a tough piece to get. And that's something we'd both find easy to sell in our respective places. Yeah, but, but, the, but the Palitoy card does not feature the Hovercraft scooter. Hovercraft scooter. That is the coolest. All those guys had different names. Like, he's not just a Jawa, he's the Capo Jawa. You know, that's like some mafioso. Played slide guitar, the Capo. Oh, yeah, it's a blues man. <laughs> How much is this? Uh, from my friend. Uh, for your friend? For Sunday. Sunday, okay. Reserve. How much is it for your friend? 700. Okay, so is this for sale if your friend doesn't buy it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, friend, we'll, uh, we'll talk on Sunday. We'll talk okay. Sunday. Who's talking? Are you talking or am I talking? <laughs> well, arm wrestle about it. <laughs> That's our news. What would you be your best for all? Best, 400. 400 is the best. Pretty good price. Yeah, let's go for it. Thank you, man. Yeah, having those. That's amazing. Right, so that's it. Tell you what, it's been quite a day. Oh, but I can't wait for tomorrow. We've seen the pre-show. There's still half these tables are empty. Tomorrow it's gonna to be rammed and ready to go. We're gonna do some more buying, guarantee you that. We're gonna do a lot of selling as well. So yeah, we're up for a good night's rest. We'll see you guys in the morning. <sighs> night guys. Hello, we're here outside Toy Simi. It's gonna be an amazing day today. Saturday, first of two days of selling. Although I'm just had a sneak look around the corner and loads of people don't seem to be actually set up yet. Leo's just arrived with another van load of stuff. I don't know where he's gonna put that because the store looks full already. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, come on inside. You bought my sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> this is a show that seems to be Unlike any other I've been to, you can just wander in. <laughs> it's really weird. Genuinely, I think, I don't think it's meant to open to the public till later on today. But there's people walking around already. But half the stores aren't here. I don't know, this is just very, very different. This might be a European thing, I don't know. We'll learn together, shall we? Well, we left the UK and it was like freezing. And like, I've got, I bought four jumpers with me. I've used it to, until about mid-France, and then after that, no, you're lucky I'm wearing any clothes at all for this broadcast. Hey. Look who's here. Hello. Now, we stopped in the same place last night, just around the corner, absent this morning, already here. What have you bought, anything? I am empty-handed, but do you remember the stack of banana boxes that we saw yesterday? Yes. It turns out, there's not actually bananas in there. Mmm, toys. We should go look at where those banana boxes are. Okay, let's go. Come on, Billy. I'm like a correspondent now. Well, there you go. I'll check this out. <laughs> and there is nobody at the booth. Okay. But come check this out. This is what really caught my eye. It made me want to come back here and try to buy it from non-existent dealers. I mean, it's in a multilingual box, so it clearly had distribution outside of Italy, but uh, it's a hand puppet. If we get this, we can play with this back at our, where we're staying. There's a Hulk one, the Hulk one's Spanish. I've got a Hulk one. Same, same style? No, different box, but it's exactly the same style inside. Uh, everything's a game if you play it right. Look at that, oh, warrior man. beasts. Look, he wants to come home with me real bad, but but there's nobody to pay. So the show's not really open yet, um, so me and Billy are just having to wander around, seeing what we can pick up. Particularly like that, Double Dragon, Tiger Electronics. Really nice in the jig box. It's the sequel of the sequel. Ah, Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. Yeah, starring the mummy. Like Harry Potter book. <gasps> oh, he's... What's his name, Joe? Don't know. You. 
Japanese. Yeah. What's he from? Don't know. So this is a... It doesn't feel as old as it might. It is old. Yeah. It's from about 1983. That's Alien Micros, so it's originally from Ultraman. But I'm pretty sure this is the Godzilla Gang version, which is made for export, which is interesting because that line had Godzilla and then like five other kaiju that weren't even Godzilla related. And every one of them has a unique little footprint like that kind of corresponds with the monster. And in Japan, they were all originally packaged with a little sticker of that footprint, which I am desperate to get my hands on a set of those stickers. Wow, that's cool, man. Leonardo's here, look sharp, look sharp. Leo's gonna know where all the dealers are perhaps a little bit less premium are. Busy on the phone to his uh, his broker. How are you? How are you? This is where they have it. This is what, what happens here now. Is three friendly dealers will now have a chat about toys and about who's getting what first. Who's going to ask about what first? Like a pecking order thing. And this weirdly is probably one of the few things that toy dealers actually occasionally do fall out over. We're pretty tight, us three though, so we should be fine. But you do see it. We went around. We went around the other day, and it was like. Oh, we don't talk to him because he. <laughs> I don't know, I'm new here. We have three years of experience. Uh, toy hunting, and this is the. I think the only one I saw in my life, and it's his life, because this is a very strange figure, you know. This is. Uh, he, he would like to explain that, uh, you know, this is a cardboard that is used for many toys, and they glued. This stuff, over it, you know. E io credo che la Marvel loro abbiano avuto problemi con la Marvel a utilizzare questo logo. They have uh, e who, who made this uh, had the problem with Marvel, Marvel Studios, because uh, it's obviously it's bootleg, you know. And this is the, the history of this uh, strange. Uh, e normalmente questa card qui viene applicata su questo. This card is a part of cardboard of flexi. Do you know this one? This yeah, one has yeah, a yeah. small card box. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> like it also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so right over there, I just picked up this lovely Captain Harlock, who I had never seen before. And apparently he is a bootleg, hence the lack of recognition on my part. But I think he's pretty awesome looking, so I'm happy to add him to my own collection. And then this Gold Cliff Game & Watch for the shop. That's a little bit harder to find Nintendo Game & Watch, so somebody would be pretty excited to pick that up from us. Yeah, that's right, it's the first catch of the day. Let's go. Oh. This is, I've never seen this before, but this is a Holostill version of an Empire Toys UFO Commander 7 spaceship, and it's got, it's got a little stand. I've never seen this before. The stickers are completely different. Like, this thing is super cool. Like, I feel compelled to purchase it. The handsome guy. A little bit of sticker wear, but pretty nice overall. I'm a friend of mine uh, uh, collection. Yeah, that's his from the early days when he was a kid. Oh, this is so, from his childhood collection? Yes. Wow. Is that your best price on that thing? Drop it. You do six. If you get the other one as well, I can do 800. That's the best I can do. This is pretty, this is pretty rare compared yeah, to this. Yeah, I know, I know. This is was, was only available, I think, in, uh, in Italy and France. What about for just him? Six fifty. I'll take it. Okay. I have it on eBay for nine nine nine. Yeah. Money. Long <laughs> enough, enough money. Uh, hands. <laughs> there was a lot of heavy lifting going on with that negotiation, um, but Billy's uh, Billy's got a deal he's happy with. I think it's that's something I'd set myself to get this show. Billy's picking got one. Somebody's gonna have to ship this to me. <laughs> Could be you guys, could be Leo. Run away. I'm not annoyed, I am a bit annoyed. But he's gonna drop off his lovely Shogun Warrior, which I was kind of, it just, it just appeared in front of me and he was, boom. 
the problem, man. We need to go and find something good. He's amazing. How much is a? Uh, how much is Megator? H how much is he? March. Yes. March, mille. Mille. Leonardo, I need someone that speaks good Italian. Okay. Problem is, I start speaking broken French when I speak to Italian people. It's very bad. I'd rather just kind of. I don't know how much he is still. I want to find out how much is he. And uh, I know he's missing a couple of bits, but he's got his uh, chest armor. So, Megator, one of the masters of the universe giants. Very, very desirable. Titus is really the one that's really hard to get. Megator, I've had, a, had him a few times. Years and years ago, I've got terrible regrets. I was at Stafford Toy Fair, and this was early 2000s, I think. And I walked past a box Titus for 30, 30 pounds, and I was like, oh, that's weird, but nobody will buy it, because that's how it was then. And I knew it's just, and I, it's always bugged me, but Megatours, I've had a few. The fact he's not complete puts me off a little bit, but. Well, 1200, 1200, so 24, faccio 100 the rest. 950, 2. No, I've tried. 950, 2. I tried. That's a no. That's a no. Eh, lui non può, è difficile, I speak in Italian English, with you, Italian, English, English with her, sto a parlare inglese con lei, italiano con lui. No, ma no, sai che è che io parlo solamente cinese, solo il cinese no, parlo, cinese. solo cinese, English, no. Punjabi, Punjabi, Indian Punjabi, yeah. lui parla indiano. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ok, ok, ciao, ciao. ciao. <laughs> She made me an offer of 900 euros, I really want to pay eight. I think the prices on Megator may have changed since I last looked, I'm honest with you. But I'm without the mate, without his his weapon. I just can't spend that sort of money on something that's incomplete. You're gonna be finding the parts and it those parts is the reason why all the Megators that turn up, a lot of them don't have the bits. Because they, they get lost, they disappear. You always find the grey ball, but you never find the chain or anything. So it's a uh, it's a weird one. I've seen people do it with it because there's, there's the later classics one that came out and they put, people put the bits with them, but I don't like doing that. I like it to be all original. Uh, and it's, it's a good price. It's just, yeah. I need to find that Shogun Warrior, man, and scratch that itch. I need to find that. Some food fighters. Um, our friend here is working me a deal. So we're looking at Major Crunch who's really cool, and Sergeant Scoop, who is um, a little bit like like a poo, if I'm honest with you. He's more like a poo. So um, I'm assuming the fecal matter one comes free. Um, so he said 180 for the two? Yes, sure. Can we talk about? Uh, 17, 85, uh, 95 for all. For all. Are you okay? I don't need to. I don't need to get this for you. It's my best man. price. Two fifty. Two fifty for all, it's or one eighty for those two. They've got their backpacks and they've got their hats. So I don't know in your country, but here is uh, every time difficult to find. Food fighters are difficult to find in the UK. In yeah. this condition, it's very. Yeah, very they're always tatty, aren't they? You see, it's clear. It's yeah, not yellow. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go for those two, if that's all right. 180. 180. Okay. Nice. There you go, I've got one across the line. They're just a great, great, silly toy. And I, that's what toys should be, silly. Oh my life. Does he transform into a Batmobile? I think I need he, to look. He's, Can he's I got tires on his back. Can I look? Is that okay? Wow, that is truly terrible. This is the one. That's a little gun he has. What's this right here? That's a little gun. He's, he's got more clothes on in the actual model than he has on the cover. That promises a lot. It's like, inside here I'll be nude. If you see a man with a gun and a cloak and a cowl and no other clothes apart from pants, run away. Fantastic. 
<laughs> it's that stage of the day where you've, 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 you've bought a lot of stuff and then you really shouldn't buy anything else because you've spent too much money. What is he talking about? That doesn't exist. It does, it You've does. spent all of your money, that's when it starts. Yeah, you spent all your money and you realise you've bought a Batman that's not as nude as he looks on the cover. I know, we only need fully nude Batman. <laughs> We found this highly erotic Spider-Man. It's been a tough night for Spidey. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Those aren't real toys. They're not no, in they're banana not. boxes. No, they're not in banana boxes. It's like they're modern or not toys. They're banana boxes that have been decommissioned. Yeah? yeah. Nude banana boxes. I'm interested in the box more than anything. That's, that's spectacularly nice. These are always, always ruined. This is obviously something local. This is like Metoy, Northampton in the UK. So I'm at an Italian show looking at something that I'd, you see very rarely in the UK. The Corgi Juniors themselves were like a poor relation to Matchbox in my opinion, but there's some great, great toys and great, great models that they made. Now, I think this will be expensive. We're in Italy, this will be something that's out of place, but I still want to ask. Okay. Otto in scatola. Otto in scatola. Ma sia quelle in scatola o quelle senza scatola, vedi? Tutte? 30. Is it 30 euros? 3-0. Just out of box. Just the box. The box. 30 euros. And how much with the contents? Okay. <laughs> 150. 150, or just the box. That's nice. I mean, for everything, uh, 100 euro. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's, that's. Ah, the little Fiat Panda. All right. Hey, <laughs> Am I paying for that as well? <laughs> I don't know how this is going. I'm going to have the bag. I'll get in it. I'll, just, I'll get in it. I need this bag. It's a very good bag. Like when I ask questions over here, I say, what is this? And, and honestly, the Italian dealers look at me like I'm an idiot, which said so they're very accurate. But they look at me and go, how can you not know that? You're meant to be a toy dealer. You didn't grow up with the same things. And same with this. Like for me, that's obvious what it is and for them it's like oh what are they i don't know no. weird oh, 200 200 it's really really new you can open it up if you want and i give you an extra 10 percent off because you're already a customer this is pretty interesting because it actually has an italian import sticker on it so this was sold in italy back in the day because they were so crazed for grandizer that Toy sellers here just started importing whatever Japanese robots they could get their hands on. That's why you find so many interesting Japanese toys here in Italy. That. <laughs> Have you ever seen these guys, Matt? They are from the same series as yes. that. So you could put a little tiger head on him if you want. Or equal. Yeah. You can make any kind of chimera type beast that you like. How much are these? Uh, 20, 20. Okay, we'll be back. So we're heading back to a booth that we were at earlier where there was a pretty good pre-transformers or transformer that wasn't released in America type of thing. It is called Magnum Robo. It's a big ass gun. Um, and I kind of want it. So we're gonna go see if we can get a better price on this thing. All right, so I came back to look at this thing again. Pacho. Can you make a better price on it? 20, get that change, I spent. We gotta make sure it's got the targets and the little bits. There's the little bullets, this thing actually shot so you can knock these targets down. What's your best price on this? Two 
280. I have to buy it. Yeah. It's a good price. It's a cool piece. It's a nice guy. We'll take it. All right. We're gonna take both hands. I think. <laughs> There's another interesting Transformers adjacent piece. Astro Magnum, or in this case, robot fighting gun. Um, this was a non Takara Transformer that made it into the Transformers line. So this is released in a lot of different versions around the world and was also used in a prop for James Cameron's Aliens film. It's in the medical lab. There's some of these hanging from the ceiling. So this guy gets around quite a bit, but this is a Pretty unusual version of this box. Something I'm gonna consider coming back for a little later. Well, the interesting thing about being at this show in Italy is that there's a much higher ratio of vintage to modern toys than I've seen in any other country in quite a number of years. So that's refreshing being a vintage toy guy that doesn't have a lot of interest in modern stuff. But this, this is actually mostly vintage stuff at this show, like definitely more than half. So that's really refreshing to see. How much are the Ulysses 31? Uh, okay, 500 each? Okay, thank you. Stuff that I really want for my own collection, but I need to resist if it's not an amazing price. That's an okay price, but not amazing. They are amazing toys. We'll see how the weekend goes. I see you, man. Yeah. How you doing? Nice. Liking the nice bulls to top? Hi, how are you doing, man? Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> cool to finally meet you as well, <laughs> Mr. Cameron. <laughs> I've seen amazing things. I've only done one tour so far, but I'm gonna be going back a lot more picked up one awesome TMNT item I really wanted for my collection. It had all the accessories and it was priced really well. And now I'm checking out this boot here. Checking this out. Yeah. There you go. What do you expect to see in Italy? What kind of things do you expect to see? On this? Well, hopefully some Italian exclusives. So I'm into Motu, but I'm also up to that point where I already have everything except for the exclusives yeah, right. and the crazy variants. So I've seen like a black face gliz grizzle over here, which was fairly priced. Uh, but I'm looking for, you know, Titus, Megator. Uh, Leo's got one, right? Leo's got one, I know. You just set me up for that. Hey, man. Want an honest appraisal of the stall? Yeah, what do you see? What do you see? What, anything That's a pressure question. Uh, I mean. It's a little clogged up right now. I think yeah. you need to sell a little bit more so I know you can it. actually see what's there. It's just packed. I kind of want to go back there and see what's there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've just been chatting to Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out. If you've not subscribed to Ed already, then you really need to get your finger out and get it done. Because it's a great channel. He's always putting it around Europe and sometimes the US, buying toys like we do. And he provides great content. But yeah, it's been a really good start to the afternoon. It's uh, busy, there's lots of people in here now. There's lots of hustle and bustle. There's lots of me looking confused because I know no Italian. And uh, we're gonna have a great day selling. So yeah, let the crowds commence. How are you? Guns. Space guns. For super heroes. So, our friend, we've messaged our friend John. Okay. And you've offered us, well, how much did you want to pay? You wanted to pay how much? 420 for both. 420 for both. It's an extremely rare set. I can do 450. And I'm going to say that 420 is my last word. I need to pay my Italian wine tonight. And my great pasta. Maybe with you at restaurant. Well, we're over the road. Um, <laughs> let's 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 tweak it up a bit because we need a bit more. So come on, let's meet in the middle. So 420 your, is your offer, but let's go. Let's get an extra bit. 430. Make the man happy. Most of the money will be going to charity anyway. I am very happy at 420. You know, it's not. A... Can we squeeze an extra five euros? 425. Okay. 425. Let's do it. 
win-win you situation. Go. You've made a man very happy. Thank you very much. There we go, 425. Really nice. So you know when you, you bring uh, toy guns in your luggage at the airport, this is always an adventure. So well, we will try that. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Great. Amazing. I'll let him know. Jonathan, it's going in a good collection. Thank you. Right. I'm on the trail of this Shogun Warrior. It's pretty much the end of the day. I'm really tired. Um, it's been really busy. And I'm chasing this Shogun Warrior still. Now, I've been told that the other guys let him down so I can possibly buy it. But I need to find it, because obviously this isn't over till it's over. Um, so let's try and get it nailed on now. I can't see the guy and I can't see the item. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, he was here. I need to find. I really want. I really want to get this done. Maybe left in charge. I don't know. I, I know him vaguely. I don't think we should left him in the store with uh, a lot of money's worth of stock there. So um, yeah, and so far this is a real bust on regards to this Shogun Warrior hunt. Squashed underneath here. Oh my life. Oh, they're the ones from his shop. They were the ones we saw. It's been crushed. <laughs> the kids today have no respect. Crushed by a 10, 10 euro uh, Borrego Bugatti. Wow. Oh. Free iPhone. <laughs> He's been in pain for years. He's landed with that funny. Old toys, one euro. <laughs> <laughs> Big bag. Back in a second. Oh man. With friends like this. No, what? No, they didn't want to tell you. Oh, did you? Did you? Allora. No, io prima devi venire qua. <laughs> so it's mine, yeah? It's yours. Mazinga. Ah, I've got it at last. This has been bugging me ever since Billy picked that one up. We were talking about on the way down here. I said I would definitely want a Shogun Warrior. I'd have preferred a Mazinga. And, uh, you know, I've got one. This is kind of the iconic piece I was looking for. The problem is with this, now this is a problem because I really like these. I think this will make the shop because I've got my eye on some other things. But it's, it's exactly the piece that I would love. There's so much I love about this. The box art, the toy, the size. It's just like, it's just, I would have loved one of these as a kid. Imagine the fun, what a toy. You know what, Matt? I'm gonna buy myself something else in a minute. What's up? Hello. Tiger mask guy. Tiger mask guy. Yeah. I know that you wanna buy it. I, I wanna buy that. it. Okay. But how much can you do it for? Uh, I have to check. Go to, your go to your mind palace. Yeah. <laughs> Checking. Yeah, yeah. Checking. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting a bit tense. For you? Yeah. 300. 300. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's thank give you, you some money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, maybe, so, maybe tomorrow you, you want to buy a jig? Go get I, a jig, maybe? I do. Once, we'll I've, we'll once I've made some more money, because you yeah. know the way this goes, we only spend it on more toys. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Share that thank for you me. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Thanks, Len. It's got amazing stuff, and I've got a little bit of it for me. So that's it, we're out. It's been a good day. Tomorrow is another one and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna buy some more toys, aren't we, Billy? Of course we are. We might even sell some. Well, <laughs> buying them's more important. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>
This is a really small one. <laughs> yeah, I thought they only had these in Japan. I know. Oh dear. I think it's another episode of I'm too fat for this lift. <laughs> is that a spin off of I'm too fat for this car? <laughs> He's not going to be as successful as the first series. <laughs> oh dear. This is how I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from wonderful Rome. I'm by the bins. I'm absolutely buzzing for the show today. It's Sunday, it's the last day, so it's going to be probably not as good as a Saturday, but I know there's going to be stuff left on table, stuff that I can buy. It's going to be exciting. Who's with me? Buongiorno. Ah, that's Leo. Good morning. Buongiorno. Hi. Hi. I'm fluent now in Italian. How many of these handwritten lists has he given out? Or has he just seen two mugs and gone, those two guys? <laughs> <laughs> they oh, look boy, like they? suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, well, he's right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I want to go and see that. <laughs> Let's go. Janice, Janice William Galaxy. Quest the third. <laughs> How much is he? <coughs> but uh, he's broken. Yeah, yeah, I see. What? 40. 40. So he's right. The tongue is the important part here because I've got a few of these that are in various similar states, but I don't have any tongues. Currently, they're not actually his tongue, though. They are an eye stalk that are coming out of his brain that's in his mouth. Um, it's going to be the ones get really specific about things. Oh, I'm but, the uh, same thing. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, you should see him when he sleeps. You should hear him when he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that guy. So, this is a second Please. series Migo Micronauts Alien, which for some reason they're a lot easier to find in Italy than anywhere else in the world. Okay, so. Okay. It's actually the first one I've spotted. Well, it's got a couple more over here too, but I thought I'd see more this weekend, but I have not. It's always like he's professional. He spotted something else now. I'm looking for the yellow missiles, to be fair. Ah, it's been glued. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's broken. So it's got the missiles, but it's got a break. It's the most common of the Shogun Warriors. What is it with you and one arm warriors? I do find them, no, I'll pick them all. I'll come back at the end of the day if you're still here. It's nice, man. So let's get back to the stall, get opened up, get some stuff sold, and then come back out later, end of the show, and buy lots more toys. In the meantime, I will have left my stall covered and I will have bought all the good stuff. I'll show it to you later. Life. It is. It's Diego Maradona. Look at that. I've got the glove of Jeeg. And there's the man responsible for the hand of God goal, Diego Maradona. Wow. It's good. Okay. something we do see. There's a couple of missiles there. These are prone to brakes and stuff, but this one looks quite nice. Something still here. It's that tiger. There's that tiger. He's really clean as well. The tiger. Big Jim. How, how much is that? 200 euros. 200 euros. Is there a deal we could do on it? How much? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 180 euros. Okay. You do a bit, a bit less? 170? 175? <laughs> 80. 180. Do you play darts? 
<laughs> okay, my friend, I'll have it. Thank you. Thanks, Battle cat we know and love, for those of you that are of a certain age. And then, this is what it spawned from. And before this was another one, I think it was called Jungle Cat. It was all black, really, really cool. Never seen one of those, but this guy, I don't even know if I want to sell this. It's my end up coming home with me, because I've always wanted one. And you know what? I don't know if that's a good price. I don't know if it's expensive, but it's been here all weekend. So I'm assuming it's kind of on the money, which is why I'm quite happy for it to come home with me, if that's the case. But I'll make a decision on it, but I'm happy to own it either way. Brilliant, thank you so much. It's like some crazy 1980s Italian television series. I have no idea if it's animated or live action or what, but these are cute as all get out, and I'm thinking these might be good in the Japanese market when I'm doing shows over there. <laughs> now, I don't really have customers for these, but these are really cool. I like them. I think he wants about a thousand euros for them as a set. Which I think is okay, but I don't, I don't want to pay that because they're so left field. I'm going to have them in stock for a long time. They aren't going to sell quickly, but I really like them. And they really do need to stay as a set because you won't see them again altogether. So how much are the Flash Gordon figures now? So we've got Dr. Zarkov. Now whole set. Whole set, Flash Gordon. Ming the Merciless, who is amazing. And then we've got Dale Arden. This is the rarest. Yes, he's the best as well, he's cool. So how much of the set? How much the set? Uh, 1,000. 1,000 euros. 1,000 euros. For you, little discount. A little, a little. Big discount. I need a, I need a big discount. Be it's slow. very rare to, to find in this condition. Yes. The card is very beautiful, unpunched. Yeah, I, I love them. You know, it's not me you have to sell it to, it's... Yes. 47. 47 when years. Born. When I was born as well. <laughs> so, they're the same age as me. 47. But in 47. better condition. 47. So, how much could we do? What price would we... Only for tenuous? you. Only for you. 800. For all the same. It's Seven, the price of two. 750 cash now. 750. 750. Yeah! <laughs> that's amazing oh man I'm so pleased with that that's so awesome thank you that's amazing Gordon's alive is that how you do it I don't know is that right thank you very much I tell you what though Ming though he's a little bit there's a little bit of Tomland about him isn't there so I'm just saying he could sneak his way into a certain large man's collection that's all For years and years, I have been a huge fan of the Atlantic Galaxy series. And this is a set that has some this presumably unplayable board game, but it comes with four figures. You know, and unfortunately these guys are missing inserts, but they still have all the pieces. And uh, I, just, I just couldn't resist for the price, even though it's huge and it's gonna be a nightmare to get back home but sometimes you just have to do it so this is my first time purchasing a recalled toy from Italy this is obviously Huey Dewey and Louie or whatever they call them here but uh, this is their junior woodchucks knife and apparently they did not think it was a good idea for kids to just have a little knife apparently a lot of kids are trying to stab each other with this thing and it was pretty quickly recalled according to my local sources. And uh, I mean, it's just a cool piece. It's nice art, it's a weird thing. Like, yeah, it checks all the boxes. I've come back to Lens store. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I need, I need a jig. Yeah. This is a second version. Right. For children, no? You know, safety. Safety, yeah. not as pointed. Yeah. And this one is first version. More pointed. Yeah. Different colour plastic as well, slightly, is yeah, it? A little bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah. So... It's uh, 250 for you, 200. Okay, so 200 for that. Well, how much is these? Series 2? These one... Uh, for you, the same price, but a little bit uh, more expensive. It's more difficult to find. I like that one. Yeah, 
first verse. That's on that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. So, 200 euros. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to do okay. it. Okay, okay. I'm going to do it. It's just like, you know, I just, I want one. You like this giant, bald, red. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And it's in the shape like his head, isn't it? Like, yeah. Shaped like his head. It's just so cool. I've got a feeling this is the start of a beautiful friendship <laughs> where it will be a one-way traffic financially. Yeah. But I'll get some amazing we, we, toys. We can work on it. <laughs> we can work on it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Getting cheeky with it. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, it's very, it, it, it just, you know, I've, I've already bought one, but I just want another one. I just didn't know, because then I can choose which one I want to keep and which one I want to sell. Which one of you <laughs> Right, the show is starting to slow down now. There's still people here, but it's just got that feel of a feel of an end. No, I haven't sold the G Glove and I haven't sold the other gun set, so I need to make my excuses with uh, John. But I don't know. Billy keeps looking at him. You never know. I could perhaps get him into Billy. But I want to get this. I want to see if I can get a deal on these Migos. See if the guys gonna have a deal with me because I'd really like a, a little cabinet with them in the shop. The Mego figures. Two Migos figures. There's a, a bundle of the Mego, the Mego figures. All of them? What's your best price? You want all, all, all of them? If we can get a price, that all would be amazing. First of all, we have to count how much is uh, I know. the total. Okay, so, sorry. You want 130? 50. 50, that's 180. 110. 110, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Let me make a suggestion. No, no, no. Okay. You, you, you were saying something. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh. he was going to say 900. If you want to propose something a bit higher, all right. <laughs> okay. That's what I say. I, I would accept. There you go, what is your best price? You go, well, it's got 50 pounds on it. I'd like 100, this is my best <laughs> price, yes. <laughs> okay. um, so you've got 450, not including him. No. <laughs> 400 euro. 400? 400. 400? No, I, I can't. If with those I two, I can't. can we do four, 430? Four, four, 450 with these two. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, brilliant. Perfect. <laughs> you just look into the camera and just say, keep watching Toys Japan Tour. No. Keep watching Toys Japan Tour into the camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am interested in some of your micronauti. Okay. I would like to do a deal with some cash Fine. and some toys. Fine. A swap That's deal. A... Green Baron King Atlas uh, and the and the Red Falcon and the um, possibly Megas as well. So that one. That's, that's one, a different color. No, no. This is the only one that is white, like the yeah. uh, Force Commander. So he's this cool. two has a different color. Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah. But I, I, I'm, I'm you interested. You need the old card. Yeah. I like those two. Yeah, they are rare. They're, yeah, yeah, I like him. Okay. And I think I like Megas as well, maybe. The Ortiz change the color. There is a red and white, uh, and uh, gray and red. And there is also another, uh, some other figures that is like Baron Carson, but it's gray. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very rare and cool because, you know, everyone collect uh, Micronauts wants different color and, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Th I think those three, yeah, I'm not because you need the emperor also. I've got the emperor. Ah, okay, okay. So, but if you have the emperor, you can have the couple. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't know. I'd rather have a loose one. I've got that kind of thing to go. Well, Baron you know, Khan. this is good to sell if you had both. Otherwise, yeah. it's unsellable. But this is the problem, Leo. I might not sell them. I might keep them for me. Oh, Terrible. we are collectible. <laughs> we. Are... Oh, we are collectors. Yeah, oh, all, all we are. Doing. All we, we are collectors. That's the main problem. So those three, then, Leo. <laughs> yeah. That's the deal I want to work. Do you want to have a look at my stand and see if there's any items you'd like? You can try. And if you don't find anything, you must try harder. Yeah. Uh, Len? Yeah. 
And now, I can't, I think I can't sell my glove because you've got a glove hanging there. Mm -hmm. And I've got to sell this glove for my uh, celebrity client. Okay. So, how much could I buy that glove off you for? Dimmo in Italiano. Not 15, 50, 50, 50. yeah, 50. 40. 40. Because you are poor and because you have I'm to poor. eat, I am. dinner. I'm not okay, selling okay. anything today. Okay, 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 40, 40 for you. Okay. 40, Thank brilliant. You. Thank you very much, thanks no, man. It has, I'm, it has cornering the, I'm cornering the market in questionable gloves. You, you, I mean, you break the market with Gotetsu G exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Just rubbish. Yeah, oh, rubbish. <laughs> so, <laughs> I bought this because there's a guy wandering around. He was looking at the glove earlier. Then he, he looked at this one, and I just want to make out this one's gone. So he's got to buy mine. And I'm now left with a glove, but then at least I've sold something for Jonathan. So, you know, it might work. Yeah, we've still got gloves. I mean, if the guy comes back, then, you know, we can glove him up. A little discount. Oh, so I want to buy. Yeah, I want to buy. Well, I want to I sell something. What do you want to buy? Yeah. You told me yesterday you could. I want to buy this Ulysses. Well, how about, can I interest you in some gloves? <laughs> I just gave you. <laughs> no, I, yeah, you told me yes in 75. Yeah. Can you do for me 70? Five. No, centim. 65. 65? Really? Wow, oh my God. Deal. Thank you, thank you. Right, there we go, 65 okay. euros. We're, okay. we're going to church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In Italian. Oh, good. Vagabondo delle galassie, casa tua, e tutto quello che vuoi. Yeah, it's, it's Italian, but it's Very nice. Yeah. Bye-bye, Ulysses. Good friend, David, that's been looking after the store for us while we've been uh, off uh, buying and uh, going out and getting sort of things, uh, has given us a tip that on one of his wonders, he's seen something up here. Now, I saw it yesterday. It was expensive. It went down to 100 euros. This point in Sunday, it can lead you to be, oh, you need to get some stuff out the door. So I'm gonna see if it's still there. I don't think it's complete. Is it complete? Yeah, yeah, the only thing is that um, it's wet. It's a little wet. Yeah. And uh, you need probably to re the pot. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. Yes, please. Grazie. Grazie. No, it's in there. Grazie. Yeah, sorry, you've got it. Very tight. But you need to do this with your hand. <laughs> I've got this. I can't do that with my hand when I've got this. But we don't do this when we say grazie. We do this <laughs> you... when you say grazie. No, we never do this. This is a freaking stereotype. Yeah, yeah. Never, I never met no. an Italian doing this. <laughs> allora, allora, yeah. <laughs> my father, my father does it. Only, uh, only Robert De Niro does that, yeah. Why do I keep buying big stuff that's like really slow selling? And, but I just, it's cool, isn't it? 50 euros, any one of you wouldn't buy that. You'd all buy that, 50 euros. It's fantastic. Well, we're going to talk to one of the organizers of this show who seemed pretty excited that we were here and wanted to share his formerly glorious Big Jim collection, which he apparently sold off and regret selling. Oh, so basically, is saying that it was the number two uh, collector of Big Jim in Italy, and this is his collection, the old collection. So Big Jim was, you know, somewhat popular in the U.S. and a couple of countries, but in Italy, Big Jim was massive. Like it was huge. Like the Italian people love Big Jim as you can see by this collection, which is quite impressive. And uh, there's the tiger that Joe bought this weekend. That's a rare piece. And uh, I believe that he regrets selling this collection. La persona che li ha comprati mi ha pagato molto, molto bene. Okay, but he said that it was paid enough. It was paid very well. But of course, he misses the collection. In Campagna per terra, nei mercatini, si chiamavano proprio sulla scia dei mercatini inglesi. Very nice. Cioè, this didn't exist in Italy, this concept of uh, flea market selling, and they invented it basically, they imported it. He was telling me this weekend that these guys grew this fair in just a few years from 150 attendees and 30 tables to in a tiny hotel to you know, what we see here today. 
which is thousands of attendees. And, you know, this is a super fun show. And these are the guys that did it right here. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Grazie. Grazie. These guys, they love toys. And you can tell by the show, everybody here loves toys. All different kinds of collectors coexist. There are train collectors, there are sports collectors, there are game collectors, and there is tons of vintage stuff. And it's a good place to be. We've got 30 minutes left before the show closes. We've got about $500 each. Dollars? No, they don't call those, those here no, where, you, where you live and this know. place as well. That's I'm, where I'm from. I'm very tired. We've got, we've got about 500 euros left each, and uh, we're going to go out and see if we can spend it. We're not necessarily going to spend it, but we're going to have a darn good go, aren't we, Billy? Yeah, I think uh, there's still a lot of stuff left in this show to pick up. Let's go. What Billy was looking at, and I've got to be saying, if, if Billy wasn't looking at it, I definitely would be. It's so tough. The minuses are, though, Bill. There are. It's a little, little light there from the light. Faded it out. You can see the transition there and the coloring. But I feel like it's not that big of an issue because usually these days, since this toy pretty much automatically breaks as soon as you touch it, that people want unused ones in the box just to, so they can have a mint loose one because it's the only way you can get it. And it's a really cool, really cool toy. But you don't want to play with it. It's not a very good toy. It's a lovely collectible toy. But you can't, what I mean is, if you play it, with it, it doesn't breaks. have much play value, yes, because it yeah. breaks and it doesn't have much articulation. Look at that. I mean, it's like a Tron guy, but a dragon. Yeah, but a lot more breaky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I've been looking at this guy all weekend. I've never seen this before. This is, I don't know what this is. It's the Hulk with the crossbow and it is licensed. This is a licensed Marvel product and it is absolutely crazy. That is one, he's had one hell of a trip, that guy. Yeah, yeah. he's just unbelievable, look at that face. Yeah. He came from a rough home. I have asked. It's a little, it's a little bit too much for me, especially given the condition of the box, but also given the fact that I've never seen this before, I'm just kind of obsessing over it, and I feel like even uh, if I don't wind up making any money off of it, I might just want to have possessed it for a little bit. I don't think I need it for my collection, but it would be nice to have this for a while. Find another. There's still stuff coming out. Like, yeah, I mean, it's it's the end of the show and there's the show, new stuff. There's probably 15, 20 minutes to go and we're still. I want to go back and look at that Shogun Warrior that I saw yesterday. Um, it's given me a price list. It's slightly cheaper today. Um, it's got an issue, as we looked at before. Um, he's told me he's very firm on the price. I'll see if we get a little bit. If we get a little bit, I'm going to go for it. I just think it looked nice in the shop, and I've, I've sort of got the really expensive one. I need a cheap one to go with it, or a cheaper one. It's going to be a bit more budget lead. I've, I've set the dogs off again. Big surprise, ever Hey, you got your voice back. He lost his voice oh, yesterday. Now it's gone again. No, yeah, that's great. I, I know, I know, I'm doing your head in, but I really that Shogun Warrior. You said 300 euro. 290. I'm at 250. Can you come down a bit? 280. 275? Then we're in the middle. No, no it's your... 280. 280, let's do it. No, 280. No, no. 280. 80. 280. I wouldn't shake your hand on 275 without you agreeing it. 280, let's do it. Thank you for selling me a broken toy. It's broken. It's broken as well. The very best last price for those two pieces. Oh, the, uh, uh, 
Uh, let me think a bit. It's difficult, very difficult. Oh, why don't we split half and half? 425. Oh, great. I found that one 15 years ago in an old shop and stored away. And uh, you know, when I go to Toy Fairs, I sell something from my collection to buy other things, of course. Joe, Joe, you were losing this challenge. What was that, 420? 425. 425. It's not the quickest to spend it. It's just, you know, it's like the price is right. You know, we got to get the closest to the number. We're, oh. we're counting down. It's, we have five minutes. But this is five minutes in Italian time. So we don't actually know what five minutes means. We could be here for two more days. We don't know. We don't know. Also, there is some kind of traffic strike today. So I have no idea how this is going to work with people trying to leave the show. For you, it's good. For, for me, it's good also. 25. 25. Okay. Done. Thank you. I think that bag to the Zorro ratio is out of whack. <laughs> hey, that's the bag. So a lot of the places we've been looking at all weekend have now gone. So like, if you look at my space, you go, I might go and have a look at that again. And they're no longer here, they've left the building. Well, it looks like Joe found somebody over here that he's doing a deal with, and he's closing the gap on our $500 challenge. For the price. Yeah. 70. 70 euros. 60. 60. Is that right? So, uh, 6, 0. Or your 5, 0 would be better. Okay, okay. Six, zero, five, zero. Six. <laughs> so, Defenders of the Earth, Italian language, and we have the standard issue that we'd more likely see Rainbow Toys in the UK. Yeah, really cool. We, we don't call that the standard issue where I'm from. No. No, the Rainbow Toys is... Yeah, that's different, isn't it? Yeah, so, so this they, is very European. Yeah, you know. distributors, you see, for LGN and Glue, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, cool, man. This is a painting. This is amazing. If I take my glasses off and, and lose a bit of weight, Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> uh, is it Shrek? I don't know what it is. They are British. They are. They are. And you are? American. Ah, you are American. Yeah. You, are, you have a lot of money. You are American. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen America lately? Italians are poor. Cool. <laughs> so, our shop manager, Michael, turned me on to this. This is the Big Jim Terror Off Tahiti playset, where it is Big Jim in a deep sea diver outfit versus a giant clam. So, I looked at this earlier today, and it's all the parts are in there except the actual costume, which deteriorates over time. So it's going to be a little tricky to find a good one to complete this set, but I love deep sea divers. It's all about the clam. Oh, my friend. Do you need it? Do you want it? I'd mind. <laughs> but I can do a, a beautiful price for you. Beautiful price. Yeah. What have I got left in my budget? I spent 280 on that, 305, and then I have spent 60 or two, not 365. And how much is that? Can I say to you, but is it you my say what you want? Bread. 200 <laughs> euros. It's going to put you over. So by Price is Right rules, you still lose. <laughs> yeah, but it's. It is what it is. But I think I think you may win in a different way. <laughs> yeah. These are two. They're reproduction, right? Yeah. 3D reproduction, but this is original. That's no, original. Original. The, 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 this is new. The wheels are good. Yeah. Four couple of wheels. Oh, and this yeah, is the original price. one. 
Oh, so this one is original. Okay, it's okay for you? Yeah, I'm You're my buy. best friend. No. I've gone over budget again. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry, viewers. I've once again ruined everything. I bought three, um, <laughs> but I, I, I like them and I like buying them. And I bet your customers like them too. I think my customers love them. I'm going to keep him careful because what I found on the way back, he keeps shooting his missiles everywhere I go. We're going to be ready for one more deal for you. Okay. Extra shogun plastics for our friend. There's we'll more check. shogun? Yeah. Okay. Is there an Italian WhatsApp group of toy dealers that keep going, this guy's buying all the jumbos you can find? Look at that. We have the small okay. Fabian Plastica uh, uh, grandizer with his uh, special rocket launcher, uh, which has just one, two uh, uh, rockets, but I think uh, the shadow interceptor had, had one, so I think it's plenty to start a war. He's missing his other... Unfortunately, yes, he's missing one of the Harkens, but this is a pretty rare uh, release for like the that. Italian market. Yeah. And then, and then we the... have a bigger brother. Uh, actually, this is a cousin, because it's a great Mazinger. Um, uh, probably first release with uh, um, different uh, chest piece and full of missiles and uh, anger. But he wants a new home and he's going to England soon. Hopefully. I'm very good because I'm yeah. not an angry man. So if he's <laughs> full of anger, I'll be able to help him out. Yeah. And yeah. Um, okay. So the, the the million dollar question. Yeah, I know which question it is. Uh, special deal for you, last minute. Uh, Toissimi deal. Uh, I can do it uh, 250 and 150, so it's going to be 400 all together, which is barely the value of the Gate Mazinger. But just for you. So 400, there's no way of getting that down a little bit. Last no, but you can pay with PayPal, which is always handy if you're running out of cash. So. And there is an Italian group, they knew I was running out of cash. I told the I, last guy. I know how much money knows. he has in this pocket. Um, how do 3.90 and a Scott? No, I'll just give you the four. 3.99 and a Cadbury. <laughs> and a Dairy Meal Cadbury. Right, okay, 400 euro. Business. And I'll send it by PayPal. Okay, well, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Check it. Because he's right, I am absolutely skinned now. Thanks. No worries, my friend. Up the British. No, but I'm looking in the top of this bag and I'm thinking something really interesting just happened. No, Joe is killing it with the Shoguns this weekend, man. He's going to have a really good display, either in his house or shop. I don't know what's going on, but man. Hi. We've had an amazing time. We've got now the difficult job, putting all this lot away, packing up, and starting to head back home to Blighty. I'm like, I'm really happy. That, we've had some amazing deals, we've bought some amazing toys, we've met some amazing people, we've sold some awesome toys. I've had Billy by my side all weekend. Well, not all weekend, we parted in the evenings. Did we? Yeah. Oh, just like a few feet. Just I just left hall. those big pillows there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Those big pillows. <laughs> oh, that's, good. that's a favourite. It's been great. We've had a great time. No, it was lovely hanging out with you guys. Yeah, we're going to do it again soon. I hope very soon. We'll probably drag you guys along for the ride as well. Salute! Salute! But it's the end of the show. Thanks for watching. We've got everything packed in the van and we're ready. Hold on. Right. And now I've got two pairs of gloves that I can't sell. One I can't sell for a major celebrity, even when I buy another pair to try and make somebody else buy them. If nothing else, I'm going to be doing my washing up in these, and that's it. Matt, you're carrying these on your lap. Oh, it's been an great. amazing show. I can't wait to go home now. I'm very tired. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Good night.
expected to bring the new year in, washing the dog. See you next time. And we'll ask go. Three, two, one. That's the one. <laughs>